Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Terror. Hope everybody is well. Pisces, we are knocking out your January 2022 round two reading. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that was card gibberish. All right. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message. Commit the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, hey, that's okay to you. You can check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And I know the past few round twos I've done weren't cross watcher reads. This one is. I'm going to do the all about you reading later in the month. Right now, we're just trying to catch anything that I might have missed in the previous reading. You know, maybe catch an additional story for someone. See if this one resonates for somebody a little bit better. Anyway. Cross watchers are always welcome at my table. Everybody's always welcome. I appreciate anyone who stops by to give it a view. Give me a like while you're at it. If you feel so inclined, more than welcome to. If you're new, you can subscribe, hit the notification bell if you think we're gonna vibe. If you wanna like come back and hang out more and stuff. Awesome stuff. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for coming back by. I have turned comments back on. So as long as people aren't being jerks, I'll leave them going. Alright, I think we're almost there. Never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading, and I'll say it one more time. If it's not your story, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. Alright. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Dark Angels, I ask for any messages you have for... Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 2022. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me again today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Pisces to their highest possible spiritual good, put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Okay. A little bit of a cord in the way here. All right. The Hermit. Hmm. All right. Energy of the person you might be dealing with. Why the hermit? Mm. This is deep, isn't it? One more. Wow. Why the star reversed for them?
My, my, my. Dang, Pisces. This goes deep. You're healing, they're holding back. Shoot. Some old soul stuff here. Why are you so closed off? You could possibly be closed off because you know they haven't healed yet. This was an avoidable argument. They haven't recovered. They haven't recovered. Why is the Seven of Swords reversed here for how Pisces feels the person they're dealing with? Why the Seven of Swords reversed? <laughs> it's a lot of majors to come out all at once, y'all. Definitely a connection. You're holding back, you have secrets, there's things you're not saying. Disconnecting. Why the seven of, oh, sorry. Why the high priestess reversed for what Pisces thinks of the person they're dealing with? Why the Eight of Wands? Sharp Tongue. King of Wands. Combative, sharp tongued. Don't always think before you speak, or they don't always think before they speak. Possibly a little jaded. Possibly you want to make them some kind of offer, but is it either you feel like you're not worthy or you feel like they're not worthy. They're disconnecting. Alright, how do they feel about you? Knight of Cups reversed, Ten of Cups reversed. Or a pentacles reverse, they're letting you go. They've given up. Seven of Wands reverse, they're accepting defeat. Yeah. Yeah, they're accepting the fitted situation, alright. Why the page of pentacles for what they think of you? Nah. Small offer. Not even giving it a second look. Seven of Cups reversed. Possibly, possibly confused as to why you'd offer them anything. 
or the Seven of Cups, or you're not an option. The Star. There's, they need to heal. The need for healing here. Why the Nine of Cups reversed for your intended actions? Why the Nine of Cups reversed? Not doing squat. Walking away from the dock, not giving it a second thought. Hey now! Nine of Pentacles reversed. Not putting effort into it, not putting energy into it. Why the Nine of Pentacles reversed? Not getting the second thought. No start over, no do over. Why the Eight of Cups reversed for their side, their intended actions? That's a return card, y'all. Wow. That was a table turner. Prince of Wands. Temperance. They may come back for something slow and stable and steady once energies have cleared. I don't know how long they'll hang out. But there's some negative energy hanging out here. Five of Wands reversed, yeah. We're going to end of the conflict before anything happens. I don't feel like anything's going to happen on your side, though. Eight of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. It's the outcome of the Chariot reversed. That's the closing of the gap. Swords reversed. Chariot upright in the moon. With the tower reversed. Holy crap. Why the four of swords reversed? Somebody needs to get something off their chest. Somebody needs to release a burden. Somebody's restless. The gap can't be closed. It can't get going until things are resolved. It can't be rebuilt and get moving again until things are resolved. And right now everything's up in the air with this moon garden. Everything's still up in the air. I think feelings and emotions are still up in the air. Why the Nine of Cups for their side? Why do they have the Nine of Cups? King Cups reversed. Oh my gosh, too many. I'm going to take the Five of Cups. I'm going to put the rest back. Those, they're still staring at Three Spilt Cups. They're still at a crossroads. They still can't put emotion into this. They're trying to collect their cups, guys. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Reversed. They're not going to do anything or say anything until they have healed and collected their cups. They cannot concentrate on the two full cups right now. Prince of Swords reversed. I don't see communication anytime soon. Possibly they could be watching you. Queen of Pentacles. In the reverse. Somebody's got to work on their self-worth issues. Somebody's got to work on them. I think you both got to work on you. I guess this is a split story. Either you want to make the offer and you don't feel like you're worthy or you don't feel like they're worthy. But you guys go back a long way. These five of swords deals don't happen with somebody you don't know. Those five of swords deals, those five of swords conflicts, those took a little bit of time. Those took time. That's an avoidable argument. Ten of 
temperance, healing, patience, positive energy. Right now there's too much anxiety. Someone still holds a cup, but turning the other cheek at the same time so nothing can move. There's a disconnect until it's resolved. Nobody can take or receive a cup. There's too many unanswered questions. Moon card. Strength. Knight of Wands. Lovers reversed. Somebody's got to decide what they want to do. Are you in? You out? Are you going to jump back into this? Because it's somebody you've known for a minute? Can at least get to a point of being able to talk again? Or has there been too much heartbreak? Tower on the ground. Things are stagnant. There's the problem. You're bound. You're bound. This is an energy bond. This is a soul tie. Could be potentially toxic. Somebody's breaking free from the toxicity. Can't come back together. Somebody doesn't want to take or receive a cup. You don't get a new start. Magician. The magician has the tools to fix it. But the question is, do you want to fix it? Or are there too many unknowns? Somebody's got to fix themselves. This is where it starts. This is where it starts. You fix you. You got to fix you. Give me a moonology. Give me a moonology. Holy Moses, not that many. Give me one. Give me one. There it is. Communication is key. Gee, what do you know? New moon in Gemini. Yang. Hmm. Number one. Number one is where it all starts. All right, new moon in Gemini. Communication is key. What message does this have? New moon in Gemini. A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. Taking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. Talking things through. Wow. How much sleep have I had? Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages, and all other forms of communication will also help you now. If this issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming. A time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too fr frivolous lately and need to get grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. Nobody's talking. Why ain't nobody talking? All right, Yang, number one. Number one. Essential meaning is the masculine principle of movement and creative activity. The power to make things happen, taking action. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement towards your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air. And now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. Pisces. Leave a comment. Let me know what's up. This has been January round two. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. Peace, love, and light. And I will catch you guys in your next reading. Take care and be safe.